Hey guys, it's Gals on YouTube. How y'all doing? Today's Boyd here and got this old rifle out again. Let's go ahead and it does have no magazine. And for your viewing pleasure, another chamber. Clack. Anyways, the only real change to this is, as you probably noticed, it does have this side piece here so the sling so attach a sling can roll through here or use a quick attach. I decided go ahead and just go full quick detach and then put this plate on today, this end plate. So my idea is go ahead and just put the probably an HK sling on the side and then just drop the gun that way is what my my plan is. Eventually I'll probably get better optics on this. It's come on pretty good where where I'm at. While I have this out even though it's it's um nothing really to, you know while I have this out, it's not the same thing. I do have a couple of lowers, and as a result, I'm going to, I think, be able to put a different upper on one because I've got two, you know, two lowers with nothing on them sitting in a box forever. It says, you know, BATF sees those as weapons. Might as well make them run to a rifle and range with it. So I was going to do a 300 blackout, which I know nothing about, and I like the idea of it. And the problem is. Everyone in my real life seems to know nothing about So I've gone to the gun shop, put them out to use the ship, ideal for suppressed. I realized it really wasn't what I was going to want it for. So I think I'd be pretty much convinced that I'm going to do a 6.5 uh, Grendel instead. I'm not sure how, but I think that's where what direction I want to build. Um, I will have to do a bolt carrier, obviously a different upper. Uh, the bolt carrier they have there at the store does need a charging handle, so it'd be a good chance to put a, you know, maybe a Yankee. Or it's not cold, so the old, instead of a traditional one, although this right here is an oversized one too, but it's, it's the old ones, it's just on one side, you know. Um, so I think probably the 6.5 Grendel, and then the other upper, maybe just another 5.56, five, I'm not sure, but it's for future stuff. The only other thing to talk about on this channel is, I uh, this at the local gun shop, and it does have a cap on it, which is cool. If you want to do long-term storage, it does keep water out, which is good, and it's used mag. But I paid ten ten dollars. I think they got me for it, so that's okay, it's great. Because I have my old mags, you know, people are always talking about not loading your magazines, leaving it full, and that's kind of where I've always felt. Because this is the kind of mags that I was used. Okay, and these are well, I mean, like this one's all dead here. That's just a very small drop. Well, that's more than a small drop. There's a loaded magazine, but look where it hit, just smash all the pieces. And these magazines, typically, if you left them fully loaded, it would you know, it would uh, destroy them. So I was always in the habit of never fully loading them or leaving them unloaded and just rotating them through. But that's enough yapping about this. So appreciate the views out there and the comments. and. I'll keep you updated with new stuff as it comes in and shows up. Till next time.